Ooh, big fish, big fish. That's a nice snook. Oh, just don't fall in, bud. Hey, uh, -uh. I've got light line on here. I don't know if it's gonna hold up. Oh, there goes Otis. Now we got a challenge. The big snook with a stinking dog in the water. Otis, come on, bud. Okay, this is Luke, just launched here in Clearwater, Florida. I've got Otis out here with me. We're, uh, we had the morning open, so thought I'd come out here and uh, see if we can catch a fish or two, exploring some new territory. Just put in, it's like 8.15. That's a little bit later than, uh, than planned. But uh, we got the bottom of the outgoing tide and, uh, and then it'll start coming in. So hopefully we can uh, pick off a fish or two. Anyhow, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so just pulling up here and I uh, noticed a bunch of birds up here on the shoreline. There's a bunch of birds right up there. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna punch up and, uh, and we'll, start, we'll start fishing right there. First cast. Little trout. Otis, hey, calm down, bub. Otis. Decent sized trout. Otis. <laughs> Sling him up over us. Hey, Otis, no, sir. No, bud. It's a good sit. All right. Not bad. First, first cast. Got a trout. Nice size one, or at least a decent size one. Otis, good job not falling in, bud. There we are. These trout are holding right on the edge. Getting hits about every cast. Those guys are Otis. Hey, Otis. Crazy dog. Can't tell what it is. If it's a, hopefully that's a redfish. It's making those ripples up there. Two reds right there, coming too close to me. Turn away so I can move my line. Oh, there they go. Again, all I saw were those birds there, and that was two trout, and now I've seen two redfish, and that one is sitting right here. right in his path. Oh man, it's just too spooked to eat. All right, we'll have to keep an eye out for more of those. Looking off the flat and I got a cast in front of him. It looks like it's a red. Yep, redfish. Pretty good size one. Ooh, there's some with it too. Otis, hey, 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 calm down, bud. Otis. Oh, there goes Otis. Otis, bro, you're not helping me, bud. Alright, get him out of Otis's way. Full four spotter there. About 21 inches or so. Otis, bro, kill me today. So since Otis spooked every fish around here, I'm, uh, there's another little, uh, there's a flat right here. This is super shallow. You can barely get the boat over it, but there's a little trough just a little bit further over. So I'm just, just taking us over there and I want to get some casts right up on the edge. And I'd like to be able to pick off a snook to uh, complete the slam. That one is about 10 feet over the edge, so this one, if there's fish here, this should get a bite. Oh, something's messing with it. It's either pinfish or a little trout. Ooh, there's a nice fish right there. Oh, dang it, I just hooked one here. Oh man, that red fish is gonna spook. What the heck is this? Got a little grouper. 
Be calm, Otis. Be calm. Don't mess up. Uh uh. No. Sit. A little bit of grouper. Alright, there's a redfish in real shallow water right up here. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a fish. Just moved. It's coming fast. I'm riding its path to a nice redfish. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, it is, dude. That was the perfectly wrong timing for that, bud. That's a solid red. Oh, man. I'm sure he knows I'm here, but it's... Oh, jeez. You're killing me, bro. That was like a 32-inch red. Oh, ooh, man, that big swirl right there, too. Whew. There's some fish around here. Ooh, big fish, big fish. That's a nice snook. Oh, just don't fall in, bud. Hey, uh-uh. I've got light line on here. I don't know if it's going to hold up. Oh, just calm down, bub. Well, there goes Otis. Now we got a challenge. The big snook with a stinking dog in the water. Otis, come on, bud. Uh oh, all right, swim, snook, swim. Otis, you're killing me, dude. Killing me. So I gotta, gotta do it so the snook doesn't come up to the surface. Otis, oh, come here. Hey, come here, bud. Where's your leash? Come on. Oh, it's here. All right, here's the snook. Oh, nice one. I gotta get him free line. Otis, oh, dude, you're killing us. Nice snook. Nice snook. All right. All right. Good snook there, that was fun. 30, 32 incher. Had to have a little fiasco there with Otis. That is a nice snook. I'm gonna get him. I like to take a picture with him, but I don't want him to die. Otis, uh -uh. Nope. Not loud near this one. Uh -uh. No, bud. Dude, you're killing me, Otis. All right, Snook is biting me real good. Just letting him suck my thumb. Otis is, Otis is pushing the boat forward. Good job, Otis. Otis is actually helping revive this thing because he's getting some more uh, water through his gills. Good job, Otis. Good job, bud. Best thing you've done today. All right, that snook is just holding on. I'm gonna make sure he's nice and healthy. <laughs> Notice this is a, this one I got a roll for you, bud. Still holding on, there he goes. Nice. Yeah, Lee Otis. Whew. Made that way too hard, bro. Otis, hey, come on. Otis, sit. All right, you can listen. And that was just everything going right there. This is just 20 pound liter. And there's really not a single fray on it. It was hooked right on the edge just perfectly. That was as good as I could have possibly, possibly asked. And fortunately, this little monster didn't, uh, didn't ruin it. All right, I'm just sitting down to take a breather. That was a pretty cool catch. Um, and I went to, uh, I saw there's some water on the lens. And uh, 
So I cleaned it off and I just realized that it's only 9.44 in the uh, in the morning. I've been out here for just a little over, uh, I guess under two hours and I've uh, caught a slam, which is uh, pretty cool. And I, I've had some really good shots at some monster redfish. But so far, I'm just a really big fan of clear water. Uh, again, it's just a testament that you don't have to have live bait and have any sort of fancy lures. I've just been using one lure, just all about finding the fish. I've just read the water, saw those birds and uh, came up and started fishing and there was just fish after fish after fish. So I'm back at the house. Time to uh, go ahead and clean up the boat and then get a bite to eat. It's about lunchtime and just so much fun to be able to go over to Clearwater, explore some new territory, and then catch some fish and come back and it's, it's only noon. So I have the, the whole rest of the day to get some work done, but just so much fun. And you can do it too. There isn't, isn't sort of magic involved here. It's just about just knowing the basics and knowing the trends and be able to find new spots and new areas. That's all it takes. You don't have to have any kind of fancy bait. I was just using just a, a soft plastic rig on one of these uh, one of these weighted hooks just to, to fish shallow water. And I, I knew that's a, just a lure that I'm very comfortable with. And it's really just about, again, finding the most feeding fish. So know the trends, find spots. And then when you're out on the water, you know, it's all about assessing which area is good and then which area is bad to make sure that you spend your valuable time in the feeding zones and not the dead zones. And if you want help with that, we have an insider fishing club and it's really designed to cover, those, to cover those exact three things. It's about the trends, about finding good spots, using online maps, you know, so you can do it from the convenience of your own home. And then, and then most importantly, it is assessing an area. Once you're on the water, you know, how do you know if a spot's gonna be good or how do you know it's gonna be bad? And, and uh, that way you can really, again, maximize your time on the water and, and catch slams in just a quick morning session in a brand new area. So if you want to learn more about our Insider Fishing Club, uh, click the link down below and you'll, you'll get to learn some details about it. We do show our spots, so I'm going to show exactly where all these fish were caught. Also, you're going to have access to, you know, to 50 plus uh, prior, uh, prior spots, and we add these every single week. So every week we go out and fish, we explain the trends, we, we show the type of spots to go to, we show the type of lures to use. That way you have a heads up when you actually can get out of the water and, and go fish. So to learn more, click the link down below and hopefully we'll see you on the inside.